Hey, I'm Yo uh, Hey, I'm Dai Yoshihara and you watching GT channel. This is the new 2009 uh, Lexus IS350, IS350. Um, had to do a little rework on the off season and come up with a new chassis and did some, uh, some pretty major modifications to where we worked on weight distribution and pulling 300 pounds off of the, the old existing car. So this car is now weighing in at 2,700 rather than 3,000 pounds. Today's are finally the, the, the round one in Long Beach and of course I'm excited but um, unfortunately my, my car is not 100% ready and I'm not really get used to the car yet so um, this event's kind of like uh, like shakedown like see what's going on with the team and car <laughs> I shouldn't say but you know just taking taking my time this time so here we have a um LS6 platform. It's been built by Hasselgren. Uh, it's got Kinsler injection, uh, JSP custom headers, um, mostly just a bunch of bolt on goodies. It's good, reliable power. We've had to do some, uh, some serious work to come up with a good clutch solution, so we're dealing with McLeod. Um, Everything's going great with that. Got a you know good solid G-force transmission in it. Uh, diff seems to be working great. Got OS Keekin LSD in it. Uh, everything seems to be working good. Just get a little more seat time for die. It should be pretty lethal. Uh, the the car got more shorter wheelbase. I know people think this is kind of like biggest car as like a GTO, but it's actually shorter and a little smaller and uh, the weight is like 300 pounds lighter so it looks big but it works kind of like coupe and my, my, my mechanic is called try to make it like more 50-50 balance so the car's kind of a little too twitchy um, and I think once we figure out the best setting it's gonna be more like quick and nice but now it's a little bit hard to drive what, um, what else do you think we need to do to the car in order for Dai to be 100% comfortable uh, we got some. We have some steering issues. Of just getting good steering feel, and just mostly seat time. Um, like I say, the car is not still dialed in. Uh, the strike zone is super tiny. So once I off the strike zone, it, it's kind of like a, out of control. So I have to be super focused and try to make it nice and smooth. That's the key. Yeah. <laughs> Everything seems to be going good. We'll get uh, a couple more test days here in the off-season or in between events and get die on his A-game and then it will uh, should be a pretty lethal weapon. Okay, so Daijiro, tell us how you did today and uh, how you feel. Uh, I did pretty bad and I'm bummed out. Don't shoot me! So how did the car feel uh, throughout the day and um, you know, how did you do in the tandem runs? I did really bad. Um, I can't eat really explain like I just didn't like I just couldn't take a take the line 
the line you're supposed to take and I spun. So, you know, it's like nothing I can say. <laughs> okay, so how are you going to improve the situation uh, looking forward to uh, round two? Uh, first, we have a lot of stuff to work on the car. So I think we try to have testing like even next week. And we, I know we have like four weeks, but starting next week already and try to change a lot of stuff and try to find out what's the best setup for the car. And hopefully by the time Atlanta round two, the car will be dialed in and I'll be ready for 100%. Hey, I'm Dai Yoshihara, you watching GT Channel. Hey, I'm Dai Yoshihara, and you watching GT Channel. Cut. Wow. Okay. You're like the GDM Elvis. You wanna do that? No. Do it. Show me how, what to do. I can see as retarded as you. <laughs>